Man, oh man. I do really like FNAF Funko Pops. Now, something you might have picked up from what I just said and from the background of my videos, I do really like collecting Funko Pops. Some may call me the Freddy Pop Collector, I mean, I don't insist they call me it, but they do. And with the vast amounts of cash that I earn from all of my videos by you lovely subscribers, and hey, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing with your life? In all seriousness though, I, I really couldn't have made this video if it weren't for you guys, thank you so much for the support recently, it's been insane. So I went out of my way and I bought some of the most rarest FNAF Funko Pops there are out there. Now I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently Funko has stopped making FNAF Funko Pops. I don't know why. I, again, I really do like them, so it, it is a shame that they stopped. But it is my duty recently. I've made it my goal to collect every single one, and this video is the start of that goal. Right now, I have nine of the rarest Funko Pops out there for FNAF. I do have a few more on the way, but they have not arrived yet, so we're just gonna go with these nine. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Thanks for clicking on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button because this, this costs a lot of money. And let's hop into it. So we're gonna start off here with Jump Scare Balora. As you can see right down there, I do own all of the fun times, but I do not own the jump scare variants of them. And I managed to get my hands on two of them today, Baloa and, as you're gonna see later on, Funtime Foxy. Now, I'm gonna do something a little bold here, right? I know a lot of collectors out there are gonna get very upset with me, but I'm gonna open these boxes. Now, I know I said that I was a collector, and indeed I am. At least that is my current goal to get all of the FNAF Funko Pops. I'm not getting them so I can sell them for a huge amount of money in the future. I want them because I freaking, like, I want them. You know, like, I really do enjoy the FNAF series and the Funko Pops. One of my favorite lines of merchandise for the franchise. So, sorry collectors, but here is Jump Scare. I think the jump scares are really, really good uh, when it comes to merchandise, right? I believe they've done them for the mystery minis and also, of course, the pops. And I just really like how they do them, opening the faceplates up like this, showing off the endoskeleton head. It looks so good, in my opinion. She does come with a stand, um, but I've tried, and she doesn't go on the stand, so that does suck. But this is Jump Scare below. I'm not gonna stay on each of these pops for too, too long, because again, we have quite a few to get through. Seeing as I did just talk about them, let's move on to Jump Scare Funtime Foxy. Now, unfortunately, as you can hear and see, the box is not in the best of conditions. Also, apparently, my video's lagging. That's great. Yeah, the box is not in the best of conditions, but honestly, I'd rather have the box than, you know, one without the box, which I do have one without the box. And it seemed like this person tried to tape the box shut, which, oh boys, that's the best, thank you. So I neglected to talk about it, but as you can see, the Jump Scare Baloa is a Chase Limited Edition exclusive, and the Jump Scare Funtime Foxy is a 2017 Summer Convention Funko exclusive, and this is Funtime Foxy. Wow, this is actually a really good pop. Look at this. Oh, dude, this looks amazing. So I've opened up a few of these, but uh, Funtime Foxy, I, I have yet to open. And oh my god, dude, I freaking love it. Again, I don't know why, but I just love the jump scare pops. I think it looks so good. And like the snout at the side and the face plates of how they open, it's just... It's amazing. I think Funko does a really good job when it comes to the jump scare merchandise because they just, I don't know, they just pull it off really well. Moving on now to a different... Funtime Foxy. We have Toy Foxy, aka Fixed Mangle, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is, again, as I mentioned, Toy Foxy, Fixed Mangle, but for some reason Scott decided to call them Funtime Foxy again. So we have two Funtime Foxies in the FNAF franchise. So this pop is a GameStop exclusive. You can only find this one at GameStop. Not anymore though, because, I mean, I doubt they're making these things anymore. Apparently though, they are like re releasing all those like FNAF plushies. Did you guys see that? Like Toy Freddy and a Lefty, all that stuff on GameStop. Anyways, that's that's not what this video is about. This video is about all the pops we've gotten. Yay! This one is very clean. It's not the flocked one. I believe that's a pop. <laughs> yeah, this is just normal Funtime Foxy from FNAF 2. You got the hook right here, the beautiful tail at the back. This one's very clean. I love it a lot. Mwah. Very simplistic design, not really much to talk about. But this next one though, we got a lot to talk about, the Walmart exclusive of Balloon Boy. This one is one that I absolutely love, right? The detail on it is amazing with the balloon sign and the balloons. This has been a pop that I've wanted for a long time and I'm so happy that I can finally get it. Again, sorry to all those collectors out there who are like, oh, it's lost all its value now because you've opened the box. 
Uh, I do things the way I want to do them here, okay? So this is Balloon Boy. Again, the detail on it is amazing with the sign and the balloon itself. The detail on the body and the head along with the hat up top. Oh, dude, it just looks so good. So yeah, all of these are exclusives to something, whether it be Chase, GameStop, Target, uh, what have you. So these really are the rarest of the rare. Right, so this is Balloon Boy. Now let's move over to a Target exclusive. This is Phantom Foxy. For the longest time, Phantom Foxy was the only Phantom that had merchandise, really. He had the pop figure and he also had the plushie. But as of lately, we got a Phantom Balloon Boy plushie. So like I said, Phantom Foxy is a Target exclusive and he, just like Phantom Foxy from FNAF 3, is just a recolor of Foxy from FNAF 1. Uh, uh, oh my god, I... Guys, I can't believe this. Did Johnny Plux just say that Phantom Foxy was a recolor of Foxy from FNAF 1? <laughs> Doesn't he know that Phantom Foxy is based off of Withered Foxy from FNAF 2? God, what an idiot, dude. Uh, shut up, guys. I made a mistake, okay? He's just painted green. Um, it looks like there's a tiny chip on his hook. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I really don't care, alright? Again, just having all these rare Funko Pops is amazing in and of itself. I do have the normal FNAF 1 Foxy, I don't know if you can see them. So as you can see, again, it just is a recolor of the FNAF 1 Foxy. So heading back over to GameStop, we have Jacko Chica. Unfortunately, I don't have Jacko Bonnie, but I do have, as you can see right here, Jacko Chica. Really, all of these Pops, besides the jump scare ones, are ones that I really, really wanted. So Jacko Chica is another one that I'm extremely extremely excited to have. As you can see, it is, again, just like Phantom Foxy, just like Jacko Chica from FNAF 4 Halloween Edition, it is just a recolor of Nightmare Chica, who I don't actually have. The only nightmares I have are Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Barney, so I don't have Nightmare Chica or Nightmare uh, Foxy. I mean, I do have Nightmare Cupcake, but we're gonna talk about this one in a little bit. Yeah, Jacko Chica, an amazing pop. I love the little pumpkin right there. I love the fact that they actually made her hold the pumpkin. An amazing pop, in my opinion. So because I just hinted towards it, let's go over to Nightmare Cupcake, a Target exclusive that again, I'm very excited to have. I'm really hyped about all these pop figures. They get me closer and closer to the completion of my Freddy Pop collection. Now, something that I find crazy is that this guy's freaking huge. Like, comparing him to the toy cupcake, this guy's massive. Why is he so big, bro? Yeah, I really do like this one. As you can see, the bottom is a bit different. It doesn't really have that, uh, that detail on it. But it definitely does have detail with the eyes, the withering, and also the terrifying mouth right there. While we're on the topic of cupcakes, this is probably my most hype one. The Phantom, aka Chase exclusive cupcake. Depending on who you ask, this is the rarest Funko Pop. I know there's a lot of other ones that are equally as rare, but really, this is one of the rarest. And it, dude, it just looks so good. <laughs> Again, I know I've pissed off so many collectors by opening it, but really, I don't care. This pop is amazing and I don't know why because it is, again, just a slight recolor of the toy cupcake. Like unlike Nightmare Cupcake, it's the same mold, right? It's just painted different, but it's it's still amazing, dude. And now we move on to the final pop that I have today. Again, I ordered a few more, but they're not here yet. I think I got like Glow in the Dark Nightmare Freddy and I also got a Shadow Freddy who, like, those two haven't arrived yet. But we do have another shadow. Now, like I said earlier, this one didn't come with a box, which I'm not too upset about. I just, I'm fine with having the pop, really. Having the box would have been nice, but I don't care. I still got the pop. So Shadow Bonnie, not really much of a shadow. Again, he is purple for some reason. Even though Shadow Bonnie or RWQ FSF something, something, something uh, is black in the game, for some reason, most of his merch makes him purple. I know they fixed it with a mystery mini uh, later on in the line, but the Funko Pop is still purple. But I don't care because again, this is another rare one. I think the shadows are pretty rare. Then again, I'm not really much of an expert. I... <laughs> You know, all I know is that the ones that I got today are pretty rare. So I'm, again, I'm very happy to have all of these. And like I said earlier, all the money that I had to pull out of my wallet to get all these, it came from all you guys and your support. So thank you. Literally, I wouldn't be able to make this video and I wouldn't be able to have these things if it wasn't for you, beautiful people. So thanks so much. And if you watch the whole video and you're still not subscribed, even though I did say it at the beginning of the video, what's like, come on, man. Come on, please, can you subscribe? If you couldn't tell, 
I put a lot of money into this video and I'm probably not gonna make it all back. So subscribing would be very much appreciated. Same thing with liking, commenting, sharing if people still do that in 2021. But yeah, it really does mean a lot. Thank you guys so much. Um, and here's to a brand new year. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll find a place to put all these hopefully somewhere in the background so we can all see them in videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.